Just an afterthought. They're up there. They're doing their thing. They're being goats. Hey folks, this is Rob from Chicken Ranch Homestead. I'll get in front of the camera in a little bit, but what I got here is a 4x8 table that I'm building out of hemlock and slab wood. Slab wood is hardwood around here that I have. It's mostly maple and oak. What I'm doing is building this as a small, sh oh, geez. A small shelter for my goats. So what they'll be able to do is get below it, right in here, be out of the sunshade, and then I'll make something for them to stand on top. So I'll probably create like a ramp out of the slab wood off the side and they can jump up and be in that. So I will Probably time lapse some of this of me cutting some of the slab wood and then putting it together out in the pasture or goat area because we have them very limited right now. But uh, yeah, pretty much this is all two by four hemlock. Uh, it's cut to what two by fours are, so it's not true dimensional. Then it has some one by four supports and a one by four down the center. That is dimensional. The slumber mill we go to, everything is dimensional except for two by fours. They cut and just like they do in the store. They're three and a half by inch and a half. I'm pretty sure they might be. In, yeah, they're inch and a half, not inch and three quarter. But. I didn't film any other parts of this, but I will for the rest, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks. Okay, folks, I come out to five foot, and now we're numbering them, lettering them, and we're going to take them over to the goat pen, and we will start putting it together, and I'll time-lapse us screwing those in. All right, folks, there you go. Little shade table, something they can go underneath, get some shade, especially at high noon uh, because it's pointing north south and they can jump up. This is by our old ash tree. It was taken down before we got there or got here. Um, it's not perfect. It's not meant to be perfect. Like I said, it's made out of hemlock and Slab wood. Slab wood is maple all across the board. So it's going to rot out in time, but it'll still hold up for a couple seasons and we can get more slab wood and replace it. It's just screwed in. They're already finding uh, shades. The Savannah and Todd are Toggenberg. But we put some logs at the end here, kind of butt them up. They'll jump up in there soon enough. These guys love to jump up, as all goats do. And hopefully they'll play king of the hill or something, but not get hurt. But right now, they kind of hide out behind the tree. And we just want to provide more shade for them. So this will provide some more shade. They do have the hut, which Coco and boo are behind right now so they're over there by the old uh, shack which is all slab wood which i did a video on that i got some repairs to do on that some change ups i want to take off some of the plastic on the end and put another strip in there fairing furring strip to kind of hold it a little bit more solid especially for winter coming 
But yeah, a couple of the small guys are under there already. They're grabbing some shade. Of course, they're eating some bark. But I like them over here at this ash tree. I like having them in this area. It keeps them climbing, keeps them busy, active. And it also keeps with the bark and wood kind of working on their hooves. Not to wear them down completely, but at least get some wear on them. All right. So in closing, this is it. It didn't cost much. We bought um, 12 one by fours and six two by fours uh, last week, and it was under $40. Yes, it's green lumber. Yes, it's hemlock. It's resistant to rot, but it also when it dries, it is a softwood. It does crack a lot and splinter, but that's okay. Goats are able to take that. That's what they like is roughage. They'll eat those splinters right off. Um, and we'll keep an eye on it. Make sure they're not getting into screws and anything too much. But uh, the slab wood I bought a while ago, it was in another video. I'll try to link it there. And uh, it was $20 per roll. I got two rolls of slab wood and it was $25 for delivery. So really not a lot of money. We've already used it once before on the other project. We've used it on a few other things, including during while it's muddy, we use those boards to lay down and it kind of spreads out weight. So we're not just uh, digging in too much and digging ruts. Someone leaves their camper here. That is not ours. But uh, we put the boards down so they kind of um, stretch out the weight. That's not the right word I'm looking for. It kind of moves the load-bearing surfaces. So it's just not on the tires. It's across all that wood a little bit better. But that's it. They're hanging out underneath there. And this is Rob from Chicken Ranch Homestead. I wish you all a good day, and I will see you on the next one. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. One. Just an afterthought. They're up there. They're doing their thing. They're being goats. All right, folks. Enjoy.